Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first Dollar Tree haul of the year 2020. I'm so glad that y'all decided to come back by my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I try to do at least one Dollar Tree haul every week, if not every other week. I also like to put pictures at the end of items that I did not pick up that are still new. So if you like to see this Dollar Tree haul, then please stay tuned. I picked up is a full size box of Fruit Loops. I was surprised to see this there. You always see the bag of them, but this is a 10.1 ounce box of Fruit Loops by Kellogg's. And the catch is this does expire January the 16th of this year. So in about a week and a half or so. If you have multiple children, I'm sure you could probably eat this up in one morning or two mornings, whatever the case is. I went ahead and grabbed it because we love Fruit Loops in this house. I'm probably going to have a box, not a box of this. I'm probably going to have a bowl of this after this video. So they do have the full size boxes of Fruit Loops out now. People are grabbing them, multiple boxes of them, even though they expire soon. So make sure you check out your stores for these. I grabbed a bag of the Stoffers Animal Crackers. I love these. These are in the original flavor. And this is a 11 ounce bag of them. These are pretty good. They're made in the USA. 120 calories per serving. So I grabbed a bag of those. The new item I came across this week are these Fab Detergent Gel Pods. They're in the scent Spring Magic. You get how many pods in here? You get 10 pods in here, I believe. It says 10 loads and you use one pod per load. It says that it is good for all machines, including HE or HE. Um, it says for the standard machine, just drop one gel pod into the washer before adding clothes. One gel pod is for one regular load. Two gel pods are for heavily soiled or large loads. So I did grab this. Um, since we're home now, we're doing this haul. We might as well open it up and maybe see how they smell. It can't hurt, right? Let's open that. Okay, they smell all right. I mean, I'm gonna try them out and see. But that's what they look like. So it's literally just gel in there. Um, you know, sometimes with like Tide Pod things or you, it looks a little more solid, but it's literally just gel in there. So we'll see how that does in my washing machine. Hopefully we won't have any issues, but yeah, I grabbed that. They didn't have many left. So people have definitely been picking them up. So I don't need any more hand soap, but I couldn't resist. They had the Clorox Fragranzia hand soaps. So they had it in the scent Lavender with Eucalyptus. These are both 10 fluid ounces. They are the bonus 33% more. This one smells like Fabuloso, the purple Fabuloso. And then they also have it in the spring scent, uh, 10 fluid ounces as well. So I did pick up both of those. And they've had the Fragancia scents out before at Dollar Tree in the cleaner bottles. And then they've also had the wipes. So we, most of us know what they smell like. This is a new scent, however. Um, this one is the old scent. It's not my favorite, but I did pick it up in hand soap form. So they also had out some Germex wipes. So you get 20 wipes in here. And this is just like a little trial size or travel type of size that you can stick in your handbag or put in your car, whatever the case is. Maybe even stick in your kids' backpacks. I don't know if you want to do that or not. But um, they are antibacterial hand wipes. They're by the Germex company. It kills 99.99% .99 of germs. And it says that they are alcohol free. So they had these two different designs in the packaging. Um, I actually grabbed three of them. Maddie went ahead and took one to put in her car. But yeah, I grabbed those. They had it by like all of their, um, cause you know, Dollar Tree with their marketing, they have a whole setup of different like uh, medicines and Kleenex and stuff like that, I guess for flu season or, you know, just for a standard cold, whatever. So I did grab two of those. That same section, they had some of these Advil multi-symptom cold and flu tablets. So it says it has two packets of one coated tablet. This will be something nice possibly to keep in your purse or something like that. So I grabbed one of those packets and then I also picked up some batteries. I got some of these Panasonic Alkaline. You only get two, of, two in there of the AA. And then I also got some of the Sunbeam Alkaline, which is 
I'm guessing Sunbeam's not a Dollar Tree brand. I'm, I don't think so anyway. But you get three of the AA in there. Grab some of the Reynolds wrap. And I always tell y'all to be on the lookout for the 18 square feet. I think normally they just have 15 in there. They have the 15 and the 18 mixed together. So obviously this one is a bonus pack with 20% more, which is not bad for a dollar. Also grab some of the Cooking Concept tongs. So how these work is you just... Uh, you push this part in and it opens up, it releases. And then when you want to close it, you just pull this part out. So I did grab two of these vinyl top liners. Usually you can put them in your drawers or in your shelves in your kitchen. I actually got them to put on our dressers in our bedroom. So these actually have marbling on them. And maybe you can see it like that. The, the light is a little bright, but they have marbling on them. And I wanted to see how that would look on our dresser. So it's not bad. I probably only needed one. I got two just in case. So Dollar Tree brought back my favorite, um, what are these things called? Dryer sheets. These are the Breezy Black Jasmine Lotus Fabric Softener Sheets. You get 55 of those in there. They always have the Breezy brand at Dollar Tree. And this one smells so good, y'all. It's definitely my favorite. Look what I found. They had these Lion King reusable um, tote bags. So I went ahead and grabbed one. It's a pretty good size and it just has Simba on the front and back of it. And it is a Disney branded item. It does say Lion King on there. So I was happy to find that. I grabbed this cute little bucket and it says on there, love you. Obviously it's branded for Valentine's Day. So I might possibly make some kind of Valentine's Day gift basket. I'm not quite sure, but either way, I know I wanted to pick this up. And then inside of it, I have some of these Harbo Gold Bears. Um, they're again marketed for Valentine's Day. And it looks like you only get two flavors in there raspberry and pineapple which they sound were pretty good to me it's gonna expire into december of this year so i got some of the harbo gold bears I also had these fortune pins so on the fortune pin you can click it and it'll say different messages so this one says um girls rock girl power you go girl slay the day this girl can and girl boss so they do have these on like the hanging strips and they're up by the register. So I did grab that and I like it because it's pink and it's a chunky pen. I like chunky pens. I found another one of these pop-up lollipops in the Care Bears and I needed the yellow one. I don't believe I have it. And it's just got like a little lollipop in there. I think it has a chupa choop. So I grabbed one of those. Again, this is another thing that's by the register. I grabbed some of these treat sets. You get three of them in there. It says that they are four by six inches. So I grabbed those. Those are nice to put little treats in for Valentine's Day. And they're like a burlap material. You can see that right there on the back. Now this was something that was new to me uh, this year as far as the Valentine stuff is concerned. These are fortune cookies. You get 10 of them in there. It says it includes 10 fortunes. Um, they say, happy Valentine's Day. You are one smart cookie. You will have a fun adventure. You make me smile. You're so sweet. Lots of hugs are coming. A dream you have will come true. You are a shining star. Believe in yourself. You make every day special. So they're really motivational things that they have in there. And I have a um, an idea for what I want to do with this in particular. But I thought it was so cute especially for somebody that may like fortune cookies or they like keeping the fortunes or whatever the case is. Either way, it's cute. And they're pink and um, red. I was about to say pink and purple. They're pink and red. So you get five pink and five red. I also got some of these women's low cut socks. They are one, a one piece. You have one pair of them and it says it fits shoe sizes five to nine and they're really soft, y'all. Their low cut socks and they have a cute little fox on them you can't really see it but it's a cute little fox last thing i picked up for my fellow crafters is this adhesive pearl wrap it's six inches by 10 inches and it's by floral garden y'all know they um lately have been having not lately for the last couple of years they've had the diamond wrap but now they have pearl wrap so i did grab that and here's what it looks like and of course, the back of that is adhesive. So you can stick this on things and, you know, bling it out. Y'all know with the diamond wrap, people were doing all kinds of DIYs with that when that came out. So um, I haven't seen any with the pearl wrap. So I'm guessing it has to be new because I haven't seen any DIYs with it. But yeah, super cute. They only had this color, like a traditional pearl available. So I did grab that. 
So that is all for this week. I thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye.